What's up guys, today I've got a beautiful Series 2 rip featuring 2019 Top Series 2 and 2020 Series 2. I made my trip to Walmart the other day and I hit the jackpot. I found one of these, can you believe it? They still, I, they had a Series 2 sitting around. I check every time I go and they must have put it out recently. This is about all they had though. They had some Series 2 hangers, blasters, and fat packs. I picked up some of them and I also picked up this. So let's open it up. Let's rock! Okay, let's start with, let's start with this one. Why not? We'll save the best for last. Although I am currently in Luis Robert mode. I mean, he is, He's, a, he's an exciting player to watch. I, I just put it that way. I'm sorry, I'm killing time while I open up the bill hook here. But yeah, he's exciting. He is going to be awesome. Center fielder with range, power, everything. He's got it all. And I'm obsessed with pulling the gold Robert. I want the gold foil Robert, but those, those jumbos are really expensive. I've got one jumbo box that I'm holding on to for a rainy day and maybe I'll open it sometime. Maybe I'll hold on to it and open it up in a year or something. I don't know. I like doing that. I do have the willpower. So yeah, I tweeted out the fact that I found this box. Should I rip it or hold it? Of course, everybody wants me to rip it. And uh, there was a comment about my willpower. I have crazy willpower, you guys. I can just, I can just sit on these boxes for quite a while. Got a Cody Bellinger, home run challenge and a Burke. I'll just sit on the boxes. I, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I've got willpower. I, I do want to open up those jumbos, though. I'll tell you that much. I've got a couple more jumbos and got a museum collection. We'll be doing a museum collection break sometime soon. There's an Ozzy. Um, and yeah, after I made that video, I just I started putting the pieces together. So maybe, I'll, you know what? Maybe I'll show a clip in the middle of this video, in between boxes. I'll make a clip and I'll show you the spreadsheet that I just made for series, well, actually it's all of 2020, all the different baseball releases. I might have left out a few, but I tried to tabulate most of the different baseball releases of 2020 to figure out like the best dollar per hit. And I'll show you that here in just a minute, so stick with me. And you'll see, well I guess then I'll explain it to you too. Ivaldi got the gold, but yeah, there is museum collections got some serious value. I'll tell you all about it. Along with basically everything Panini, but we already knew that we knew Panini's got more value. But if you see it in front of your face and you see the numbers and you see the dollar per hit and all that kind of stuff, you know, it's it's helpful. Rod Carew, Decades Best, got the Pete, Muncie. A few packs left here, just looking for the Robert base, looking for some parallels, I already got a gold, so that's nice, but hoping to get an even lower number. It looks like we got our, our Chrome Turkey, Turkey Chrome, Chrome Turkey. The, you know, I thought there was a Robert Turkey in this collection and I looked through the checklist and I didn't see it. Mr. Noisy, Chrome. Not too bad, rookie chrome. I'll take it. But yeah, I didn't even see it. Why don't they have a turkey? They're probably saving it for update, eh? I imagine they're saving the turkey Robert for update. So there's something in update. Like what are they gonna put in update? They're not gonna have enough time for new players that have emerged. Another Pete Chipper. So that's gonna be really interesting. I bet you they're not gonna produce very much of it. It's probably gonna be a really short run if there's nobody special. I'd imagine around 3,000 cases of each jumbo and hobby. Maybe a little bit more jumbo. Seems like they've been producing more of that over the past few years. If you haven't watched it, I'll put a link right there. Bing! To the last video I made, it, I made it's the value series. And it talks about the breakdown between all the different value of the formats, all the different formats, hobby, retail, and 
jumbo, jumbo hobby retail. It talks about where the best value is. I think you might find it informative and interesting. Okay, here we got the coin. Hopefully there's a parallel in here. Parallel Robert. Nope, just a Lizardo. Get Lizardos like they're going out of style. It'd be nice if he'd start. I'd like to see Mr. Lizardo start. Put the coin up there. Nothing great. Okay, but this, the moment you've all been waiting for. First of all, I'm gonna put this video, this little clip of the spreadsheet that I made right now. Okay, so here it is. Just wanted to share a little bit of information with you guys that I gathered, and hopefully it'll help you make an informed decision on what to buy, or what kind of breaks to get in, or anything like that. Planning ahead for the future, maybe. But this is just a little sneak peek of the kind of data that I use when I create the top 10 releases of the year. So let's check this out. On the left here, we've got the different tops releases so far, and on the right, we've got Panini. And so what I did is I put how many autos and how many relics that you get per box and the price, and then the dollar per hit. And you'll see that the best dollar per hit looks like tier one. So we're talking about 58 bucks per hit. And then right behind that is Museum. Museum's a good value, you guys. At about $260 per box, you're getting four hits. You're also getting some base cards and parallels, numbered things in there too. So for $65 a hit, that's not bad. Now compare that down here to Heritage. You're getting, it's the next best. You're getting $94 per hit, and you're most likely just gonna get a relic. So Heritage, not that great. Gypsy Queen. Next up, I love Gypsy, you guys know that. $100 per hit, if you're talking $200 a box. Now this stuff is usually about 100 bucks a box. So things have kind of doubled in this last year with all the inflation that's going on and the growth of the hobby. Top's Finest were right around $108. And then Series 1 and 2 to about $125. Now I just used Hobby, I didn't use Jumbo in here. It's going to vary with Jumbo. Inception, $150. That's a crazy price for Inception. Inception should be like 75 bucks. So this is like double what it should be. I'm using blowout prices too, by the way. This is updated like July 30th. So then we've got Bowman and Bowman is the, the bomb. Everybody loves Bowman, but we're talking $325 per hit. One hit in one of those hobby boxes. Now let's go over to the Panini side. Stars and Stripes is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous value. It's not very popular because nobody knows most of these players. They're really young. But $13 per hit, that is great. And they're all autographs. And the, most of them are auto relics too. Down to Absolute, that's the next best. I knew Absolute was a good value. And I knew I liked it for some reason. I didn't break it all down before that. But about 33 bucks a hit. That is really good. And they're high quality hits too. We've already pulled like two 101s out of there, I think. Diamond Kings, $37.50. I've talked a lot about how I like Diamond Kings. I'm over it now, but I do like Diamond Kings. Don Russ, low end stuff, $41 a hit, $42 a hit. Uh, select, now you see why I like Select so much, 42 bucks a hit, and they're autos and relics and high quality cards. Prism, I'm not a big fan of Prism, 48. I mean, I like it okay. I like it to open some boxes every now and then, but I'm not buying a case or two or doing Prism all the time. And Optic, bad value at 190 bucks, bad value. 95 just be aware if you're gonna get optic you might as well you might as well get the FOTL or the choice or something like that because I mean you do have an opportunity for a hot box so that's good but last year man these were like 90 bucks a box so they are just crazy expensive the last thing I want to do is put these all in order dollar per hit and I highlighted in red the panini and in black the tops and you can see right here everything in order Stars and Stripes, it goes down. You can pause the video if you want just to see where we're at. Um, this range right here between, I mean, Absolute's kind of in a different tier because 38, 42, 43, 48, all this other Panini stuff is right in line, but then you jump up to tops and tier one's still really good. Um, museum though, I, I think Museum's getting gobbled up too because I didn't see any more available on Blowout. So luckily I was able to get a couple more boxes. After I did that rip, I ordered a couple more and I don't see any more on the blowout website. So I imagine that this is gonna go up in price. I think museum should probably, if you wanna 
put it in the realm of everything else, it should probably be around 300 for a box of this. But if you can get it for less than that, maybe get some. Series two, coming up. Okay, what did you think of that? Hopefully you learned a little something. Billy, Billy, Billy. So look at this. It looks like we had a coupon on here too. This was clearance. I think it was about 16 bucks. And a manufacturer's coupon that is expired, I'm sure. Yes, that's expired. But something about this box, the green, the green just, to me, it says what you're about to open is money. Hook me up with a like, guys. Subscribe down below. Join the channel. Go to strikerbreaks.com if you want to get in on any of the breaks. And become a slammer. I let the slammers know when I post the breaks and they get to them first. And they gobble them up. All right, we got all kinds of good stuff in here, guys. You know, you know. Tatis, Alonzo, Vladdy, Eloy. Got the Mookie. So the Jacob... Feria 150 stamp. I know I'm gonna get some good out of here. I can just feel it. Even if it's just like a base, one of those rookies, I'll take it. So they didn't produce very much of this series too. You can see those numbers in that last video I made as well, the production numbers. They did not produce very much 2019 series two. And that's part of the reason for the value. It's got a really nice value. There's a Pete rookie. Yes, there's so many good ones you can get. I mean, this stuff is just straight fire. One more, close up, Pete Alonzo rookie. Now, if he follows up last year with a decent home run season this year, uh, he's his cards are gonna go up in value. I mean, they, they've dipped in comparison with Vlad and Tatis. Pete's like a third. And, you know, we'll have to see how he performs but his, his card should have value with the rookie home run record. Ballpark Evolution. Pretty cool. Minute Made in Houston and the Astrodome. Got a Bryce. Should be satisfied even just to get a Pete, but I don't remember how this breaks down. I, last year, I could tell you, like, if you get a... So like if you get a Pete, you're gonna get this other guy too, or maybe it's just Pete, or I can't remember. Got a gold, John Gant. Not who I was looking for. Robin Yelp. Two packs left. Jake Cave, he's starting to crush. He's starting to crush this year. He's already hit a home run. I'm gonna hold on to that one. At least one home run, he might've done more. This one's gonna be numbered, David Fletcher, rookie. It's gonna be numbered to 150. There we go. It's a nice card there. I know there's some Angels fans that like Mr. Fletcher. Dual threat, Mookie. J.D. Davis. Let's see what else we got. Come on, Tatis. Come on, baby. Jacoby Jones. Not gonna cut it. Nick Martini, rookie. Looking for that Tatis. All right, last pack. And then the special. Oh wow, got a blue. Blue chipper. So this box has been pretty good with the hits. We got a foil, we got a numbered, we got a stamp, and a gold, and a blue. Guys, this is ridiculous. And a Pete. This has been a great box.
kidding me? One last one. One last pack. It's gonna be. Lindor? I don't like these. These little manufactured relics. Not a fan. I mean, if it was a Tatis or something, I'd be all about it. But And I, I like Lindor. But just this plasticky looking thing. Come on, guys. You can do better. But overall, I'd say that was a pretty killer box. I mean, look at all this. We got the Pete Rookie, the Blue Chipper, Gold John Gant, number to 2019, the Stamp, Jacob Feria, Fletcher, 150 stamp numbered to 150 and the Jacoby Jones foil can't beat that guys especially a discount in the clearance rack let me know what you think in the comments below thanks for watching guys I will catch you later